I look like a mess. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a new weekly reading vlog. I am actually so excited about this because with Vlogmas and everything in December, I haven't made a weekly reading vlog in like a month. And I think they're some of my favorite videos to make. So I'm really excited about this week. Excuse my appearance. I'm about to go get in the shower. It's about seven in the morning. I taught a class at 5.30 today. If you hear my computer going crazy, it's because I'm currently exporting my weekend reading vlog and I'm about to make the thumbnail and get that all ready to go up today. I'm so sad. This is one of the mugs that got chipped a little bit on the move. And so I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just drink out of this side if it's just chipped at the top. I didn't realize it kind of cracked like all the way down. So it's been not like leaking, like it's not like noticeably dripping, but when I just like set it down somewhere, it'll leave a ring. So it's leaking a little bit, which I'm really disappointed with. I just got this mug this year for Halloween and it's one of my new favorites and now I can't use it anymore. But yeah, today is Monday, December 30th. If you missed my weekend reading vlog that I'm currently exporting, I have five books I'm beta reading right now. I have, I don't know why, I just got this like sudden onslaught of freelance clients. So I'm working on that. I'm working on a couple of personal projects which are kind of secret right now, just I'm not talking about them yet. So I'll be working on those today. I'm gonna go grocery shopping so we'll get a grocery haul. I might have work this afternoon. I don't think so, but I need to text my boss because the calendar was a little confusing. And I have some videos I wanna film today. So today is gonna be a busy day. I'm excited to just get back into the swing of things. As much as I like holidays and having a break and stuff, I love my usual schedule. I love everything that I do and I like my routines. So honestly, I'm like more excited about getting back into my routine than I was about having a break. So I'm gonna finish my coffee, finish making this thumbnail and getting this video uploaded and everything, then go shower and then we will get started with the day. Also, I should probably tell you what I'm reading because this is a weekly reading vlog. With five beta reads going on, as you can imagine, that's taking up the majority of my reading time, but I am in the middle of one book that I am trying to finish before the end of December, so that'll be by tomorrow I'm hoping to finish. I'm listening to the audiobook for The Afterlife of Holly Chase. I'm currently 40% of the way through, I have about five hours left, so I definitely think it's doable. Okay, can you see me? <laughs> now we'll do a grocery haul. I think this is really far away, but I didn't know where else to set up the camera. Hold on, turn on some lights in here. Is that better? A little bit? It's fine. So, I got everything on my list and then some. The only thing I didn't get that I need is dryer sheets, but I'm gonna get that from Target some other time. So, I think this is just too far away. Hi, Dean. <laughs> Are we disturbing you? This will probably be better. Let's try again. I got some more brown rice. And this is good because my pantry's over here and I can put away the food as we talk. I got some plant-based turkey slices for sandwiches. I actually haven't tried this kind before, so we'll see. And then a ton of like produce. I got some bananas, um, some apples. There's another one in there somewhere. There it is. An avocado. I used to love to make these little like taco burrito things. I would do scrambled tofu, cheese, rice, beans, salsa avocado, and then the scrambled tofu on top in a tortilla. And I haven't done that in a really long time, so I got all of the ingredients to make that. Got some more baby spinach, just a couple of rice packs for when I'm feeling lazy. I got the Spanish style and the garden vegetable. Of all my spices up there, I didn't have regular salt and pepper, so I got some sea salt and some black pepper. Got some ice cream. I was craving this the other day and I didn't have any, so I got the coconut milk cookie dough one. I got this one before and I really liked it. Tortillas for those tacos I was talking about. And then I was out of chai, so I got some more chai. And that's the first bag. In bag number two, got some more cereal. I got Cinnamon Life. Extra firm tofu for those uh, tacos. I was out of almond milk and cold brew. I ended up getting the almond milk cafe latte one instead of the espresso one. I don't know if I've ever tried this one or not. We'll see if I like this one more than I like the other one. I still like the other one, but I wanted to try a different one this time. I got one more box of veggie pasta and some strawberry jelly. That's all for bag number two. And then bag number three, got a loaf of bread, some of these like flat pretzel things to dip in hummus, some chips, cause I've been on a huge like chips and salsa kick lately. This I totally bought on a whim. I got two boxes of the vegan mac and cheese. I really like to make mac and cheese and then make steamed broccoli and just mix it all together. I think it's delicious. I got tofu vegetable dumplings. I love these. I always get these when I go to the store. Then I got some vegan ranch dressing. I actually like to put these on those vegan chicken patties and make like a chicken and ranch sandwich. I don't know why it's delicious. And the last two things, I got some um, cheese and I got 
vegan ramen chicken flavor. I don't know. I was like, I was in the aisle that had all of the top ramen, which I used to love when I was a kid, and obviously I can't eat it anymore. And I saw this and I was like, I wonder if this would taste like ramen. So we're gonna try it. So that's everything. That's the grocery haul. That should last me for a while. So now I'm gonna put all of this away while I listen to my audiobook, see if I can make some more progress, and then we'll get to work for the day. I keep saying that, but it's only 10 o'clock, and we've already done a lot today. I think we're on a good schedule. I do need to text my boss though to see if I need to go work this afternoon. Okay, so I just had my leftover Chipotle, got a nice rush of energy. I only had half of my energy drink yesterday, so I'm gonna finish that and sit here and get to work. So I'm working on a thing for my secret project and I'm not trying to be like, oh, my secret project. I just like don't know what to call it because I don't want to talk about it yet, but it's a big part of what I'm doing today. I have a really big decision to make for it. It's stressing me out in like a good way. Like I'm excited about it, but it's a really big decision. So once I do that, I'm gonna jump over to my beta reads. If you saw my weekend vlog, I was talking about how this is like feast or famine kind of deal. After filming that clip where I was like, oh my God, I just got like three new clients all at once. Right after filming that clip, I got another one. Today I got another one. I just got another email for a potential one. Like I've gotten so many in the past 48 hours. I don't know why. And this is like a pattern. This always happens. They come in these giant waves all at the same time. And I don't know why, but I'm excited about like all of these projects. So I want to say yes to them all, but I'm also I'm like, yo, I have eight other people ahead of you. It might take me a while. So I'm going to set a timer on my phone with the forest app. You'd think I was like sponsored by them or something, but at this point by how often I talk about them, if you want to sponsor me for us, go for it. But we need, um, a long timer. Deanie, we're gonna set a timer for 45 minutes. I think that's a good little spurt and then we'll have like a five minute break. I know myself, I can't concentrate for like really long periods of time without having a break. And we'll see how much of this beta read that we can get done. So my timer just went off, got 45 minutes of solid work in there. I'm now 37% of the way through this beta read, so I'm happy about that. My hands were so dry because of how cold and dry it is outside that my skin was like starting to crack and like bleed. They haven't done this since high school because I'm never here during the winter, but I used to get these like red rashes on the back of my hands because my hands were so dry all the time, even though I put lotion on like every day. So I just put this like really thick basically goo on my hands, so I'm trying not to touch anything right now. But the good news is I texted the mom that I nanny for, and I was right. There was something weird about the calendar, so I just wanted to double check, even though I was pretty sure they weren't gonna need me, so I don't have to work today, tomorrow, or on Wednesday, which means I have extra time these three days to try and get some more beta reading done. Not that I'm gonna work the whole time for these next three days because I've got plans with my friends for New Year's. That's good news. I don't have to worry about going anywhere today. And now I need to go through my emails because I kept getting notifications while I was working, but that app makes it so you can't use your phone. So I was like, I have no idea what's going on. I just keep hearing this go off. So it's now about 12 o'clock. I have so many layers on. I've got socks underneath these slipper socks. I've cranked the heat up to like 75. I have my fireplace running. And I'm doing laundry, so like the dryer is running, so like the heat from that will come out. Like it's freezing. I don't know why I just can't warm up. So now I'm sitting on the couch under my gigantic blanket. Maybe I should go get my electric blanket. Mm. But anyway, basically I've been sitting here making a to-do list and goals for the rest of the day. The good news is we already got a lot done. I still haven't decided on what our book club pick is going to be for January, so I want to research some more options. If you didn't know, I run a monthly book club over on my Patreon page. It's been on pause for a couple of months just with the craziness of Vlogmas and moving, and then before that was NaNoWriMo, so basically just the last couple of months have been busy, but this year I'm really excited to jump back into it. Gotta figure out what our book club pick is gonna be for January, and I wanna decide early on so it gives plenty people plenty of time to, you know, track down the book and read it and stuff, and then we do a live show discussion at the end of the month. I'm sorry if this vlog isn't very interesting. I know a lot of you guys say that you really like the vlogs and that's why I keep making them. Personally, like, <laughs> I just sit here on my computer. I do a million different things during the day, but it's all just me sitting here on my computer, so I don't know how interesting these vlogs can be. I was listening to my audiobook a little bit earlier today. I am 52%, I don't know why I'm showing you that, you, there's no way you can see that. I'm 52% of the way through The Afterlife of Polly Chase. I am falling asleep. It's 
like 3 o'clock. I don't know when I last updated you. Um, I made a good chunk in my beta read. I think I'm about halfway done with it now. Got all my emails and stuff I needed to get done. Where's my to-do list? Dean is sitting here with me, so... We've just been hanging out for a little bit. Why am I crashing? Maybe I need more caffeine. Probably not the answer, but probably what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm just too comfortable. I'm gonna go sit at my desk. Thanks for being my assistant for a little while. But I did the thing. This is probably a very unflattering angle. <laughs> I did the thing that I was talking about this morning, the hard decision, taken care of, done, and there's no turning back from it now. So can't even worry about it because there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go to I haven't decided. There's a kickboxing class at 6 that I could go to or a yoga class at 7. And I'm tempted to do the yoga class because I'm so tired. And the idea of doing a kickboxing class, which is so high energy right now, I just feel like I would just fall over. So we'll do one of those tonight. Okay, update. I ended up eating the ramen that's supposed to taste like chicken ramen for dinner. And it was fine. Won't buy again. Wasn't great. So I think it's about six o'clock. I'm gonna go to that yoga class at seven. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna listen to my audiobook until then because I haven't really listened to it today. Good morning, everybody. Look how cute my hair looks. Happy Tuesday. Happy New Year's Eve. Just got some coffee. We're gonna test out that new cold brew I got. It's okay. Hmm. I'll make a decision after this cup. It's a lot sweeter than the other one was. I wasn't expecting that. I look really rough. I just need to go take a shower. I ended up going to bed really late last night after yoga, which was a great class. It was so fun. I am so sore everywhere. But, um, so I canceled my class for this morning. So I slept in a little bit. I was talk I was texting one of my friends, watching YouTube videos in my bed. But the cats got them some more water, cleaned out their litter boxes, and now we're here. Today's goal is I want to finish the Afterlife of Holly Chase. I managed to get most of my other big things done yesterday, so I can afford to just focus on that today. Um, maybe do a little more of my beta read. So it's a lot later. I can't remember the last time I updated you. It's about two o'clock. I filmed a video, obviously. I actually managed to get it all edited too, and it's exporting right now. That's what that noise is. And I've just been listening to my audiobook while I got some stuff done. I'm 70% of the way through. We have two hours left of this audiobook. Really trying to finish this today and I have quite a few books to put back now. <laughs> Hello everybody. Happy New Year. Happy Wednesday. I'm getting ready to film some videos but I have... I'm trying to show you her but she does not want to come up. She does not want to leave my lap. She won't let me get up. Max. I have Max right here. <laughs> She's just kind of pinning me down. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. I hope you guys all had a good New Year's Eve. I had a really fun night. I slept in really late. That's why it's already almost noon. Haven't really gotten started on my to-do list this morning yet, but I woke up feeling good, feeling productive, ready to take on the day. So we're gonna try and get a lot done today. Oh, Max, is, do you see her paw? Is that fun? So I have two videos to film today. I wish you could actually see her. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, we have two videos to film today. Um, just some cleaning stuff, some emails to take care of. And we'll just see where the rest of the day takes us. But I'm gonna start and knock out at least one of these videos today. One of the two videos has been filmed. It's a little after 12 o'clock now, and I realized I forgot to tell you that I did indeed finish the book yesterday. I finished reading The Afterlife of Holly Chase. I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. I am so relieved that I finished it before the end of the year and that I finally got around to reading it. It's been like three years coming. It was cute. The video I just filmed was actually my December wrap up. So I talked about it in that video. It's not, a new favorite or anything. It, I didn't love it, but I still had a really fun time reading it. And I decided on my first read of 2020. I've decided I want to start the new year off, the new decade off, with a reread of one of my favorite books. So I'm listening to the audiobook of Big Magic again. This book I just find always gets me like fired up and inspired to work on my creative projects, which is going to be a big trend for this year. So I thought this would be a perfect start to the year. Something to inspire me, something to motivate me, and just set me off with a good pace for the year. So now I'm going to take just a little, probably like five minute break, get set up to film the second video. Just knock those out. Video number two has been filmed. That one was fun. I was doing my goals for 2020. It's now 12.45. So let's see what else was on the to-do list for today. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take a break from doing like work work stuff and maybe just put my headphones in and listen to an audiobook while I do my cleaning, my vacuuming. I'm gonna go take out my trash and all that good stuff. Start the new year off with a sparkling clean condo. I really enjoy having a clean space and weirdly enough I like the act of cleaning too. I just find it very like 
therapeutic. Hello, I think it's about 4.30 now. My dad actually just left. He stopped by to drop off my dumbbells. And then he also put this little shelf up for me on top of my TV so I could put the stuff up there so it's not like sitting over here with all the wires. And then he went to go get another um, like power strip that goes in the wall so we can plug that one up there. And then I won't have any more wires hanging down, which will be nice. I actually ended up starting another book too. Still listening to Big Magic. Uh, now I've also started Serpent and Dove. This is actually gonna be our book club pick for my Patreon January book club. Super excited about that. If you're interested in joining our book club and reading this with us this month, um, I'll have the link down below in the description. I'm excited about it. I've heard really mixed things about this book which I actually think makes it a perfect book club pick because then we can have an interesting discussion on it. And the people who love this are like diehard fans. So I'm hoping I will be in that party and I will really enjoy the book. So yeah, I've actually just been sitting here editing some videos. I did some of my cleaning earlier. I like took out the trash, put my dishes away and stuff but I wanna do like deep cleaning, like actually like wiping down all the counters, vacuuming the rest of my floors and stuff. So I'm gonna go try and find my headphones so I can listen to one of my audiobooks while I get that done. I have to teach tomorrow morning and then I'm also nannying tomorrow afternoon. And not just normal nannying, the kids do not have school, so I'll be there pretty much all day, which is a bigger reason why I've been trying to be productive these last couple of days because I knew um, tomorrow and Friday I'm working and nannying all day long uh, and tomorrow I'm actually um, taking the kids to Skate City. I think they have like a fundraiser with their school or something. So um, if you don't know what Skate City is, it's like a roller skating rink. So that should be interesting. Good morning everybody. Happy Thursday. Currently 5.23 in the morning. I'm just getting ready to teach a class. Today we're teaching level two, lesson 42. And I'm pretty sure I've taught this lesson before. And then I have to go to Annie at nine o'clock today, which is a lot earlier than usual. Usually I leave here at like 2.30. So I'm gonna try and get as much done this morning as I can before then. I see Dean back there. Yoga with Adrian actually just started one of her new 30 day yoga challenges where she posts a new video every day. And I've done one of those before. I actually have a video of me doing that last year, I think. And I really, really liked that. And I hadn't planned or like prepared to participate in this or something. I just saw that the first one was up in my subscriptions this morning and I was like, maybe I'll do that after I teach this morning. Okay, so I just finished my lesson, it's about six o'clock. I'm gonna have to leave here around 8.45 to go watch the kids today. So that leaves me with two hours and 45 minutes, except more like an hour and 45 minutes because I'm gonna need to get ready. And today I am gonna stay with the kids at the house until like, 12 and then I have to take him to Skate City today. So it should be fun. I used to love going there as a kid. I think I'm gonna sit here and drink my coffee and work on one of my beta reads that I'm doing right now. Then pull out my yoga mat and do that yoga video and then get ready to go for the day. Okay, so it's 7.45 now. I just got out of the shower, obviously. Popping some oatmeal for breakfast. I did the yoga. It was 45 minutes today. It was really nice. I'm glad I did it. I keep getting even more freelance clients, which is, you know, great. I'm really happy about that, but it's also just really overwhelming. I've gotten like 10 new clients asking for me to look at their work in less than a week. Some of the manuscripts are like 125,000 words. That's like reading a 500 page book and I just can't do like 10 all at the same time. So I'm working on it. I'm gonna set a timer on my Forest app, try and get a good chunk of the one that I'm currently reading done and then finish getting ready and head over to watch the kids this afternoon. Hey everybody, it's about five o'clock now. Just made myself some dinner. It's just a vegan chicken patty, baby spinach, and I don't know why I put ketchup on here. I wanted to put ranch on here and I just wasn't thinking straight. I ended up leaving work probably 45 minutes later than I was supposed to, which is fine, but it's thrown off my whole schedule and I'm really tired. I was with the kids all day. We went to Skate City. It was just exhausting. But the good news is I got some work done while I was there and then also I got straight to work when I got back to finish up one of my beta reads and I finished it and I just sent over all of my feedback to him. I'm tempted to just jump into my next project because I have so many in my queue right now, but I'm tired and I might just call in a night and we'll start fresh with a new one tomorrow. But the good news is I finished that one like way ahead of schedule. So I was trying to, so I could, you know, get a jump on this whole line of people waiting, which means I was supposed to have five more days on that project. So now that's five days that I can dedicate to the other 10 in my queue. So yeah, I think I might just take a break at least for like an hour or two. I'm thinking I kind of want to try re-watching The Vampire Diaries on Netflix. <laughs> they used to be my favorite show growing up and it's been a long time since I've seen it. I actually never finished it either. I don't think I ever watched the last season. So I'm tempted to just kind of cuddle in with that familiar show on my couch 
with my cats and just hang out for the night. I'm so freaking tired. Today has been a day. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It is 6.02 in the morning. Just finished teaching my class and we're gonna go nanny at nine o'clock again today. I haven't read anything really in the past couple of days, so I'm gonna try and remember to like actually listen to my audiobooks on my drive today instead of listening to music. But other than that, I don't know if I'll have enough time honestly to read except for maybe after I get off of work. Like I said yesterday I finished a beta read so I'm jumping into a new one today. This one's really long so I'm excited to get a jump start on it. I think that's it for today's intro. We'll see where the day goes. I just finished doing my yoga for the morning. I need to remember to put away my yoga mat today. I forgot to do that yesterday and when I got home the cats were having a field day with it. It is time. We're heading to work now. I have so many layers on right now. It's so cold outside and yet I decided to go with the cropped leggings. Don't ask me about my logic here. I'm gonna stop and get coffee and a bagel on my way there and have that for lunch because I'm supposed to work till three again today. We'll see what time I actually get off. It was cute though when I showed up. Yesterday was the first day I worked in about like a week and a half because of the holidays and stuff and the kids were like, I missed you. I was like, oh, you always tell me that I'm the worst ever. So that was nice. I've got my whole bag with me bringing some work to see if I can get some stuff done while the kids are occupied doing other things. That's about it. I don't think we're gonna have a lot of updates today unless I get home at a reasonable time. And I'm teaching tonight. Oh, I am teaching a class tonight when I get home. I'm scheduled for 5.30 and then I told my friend I would go get a drink with her sometime after six. A little after 5.30 and good news. So I have plans to go to the Botanic Gardens tonight, but I had to teach a class at 5.30, but I was on standby. And so the way that standby works is you have to stay logged in until three minutes after the lesson is supposed to start. And if the little standby notice doesn't convert to a regular lesson, like this is what a regular one looks like. This is what it looks like if you're standby. And so if it doesn't switch over, then you don't have to teach it. You still get paid for sitting there and waiting, but you don't have to actually teach the lesson, which means I get to just leave and go to my thing tonight. I've been like on standby probably like 50 times and I've never had it not convert into a real lesson. It's always a real lesson. So the fact that it's not tonight and I was already in a hurry to leave, it's a good night. Everything is real. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With